the meeting over, Kakashi had just returned to the Hokage's office when Sai came in. It was evening. An orange afterglow poured into the room. I was attacked earlier, Sai said once Kakashi was seated at his desk. What? Sai's words erased his exhaustion from the meeting. Sai informed the Hokage that on his way back from speaking with his informer and asking him to find the top level people Sai had selected from the bingo book, he had been attacked by two masked men. They were strong. I wanted to at least secure one of them, but one fled, the other had blown himself up, self-destructed. But it wasn't a self-destruction he was prepared for, Sai asserted. Kakashi gaped at him. At one point, I secured the man and attempted to question him. I gave him some bait. If he talked, I'd take his cooperation into consideration when dealing with him later. But when he started to say something, something unusual happened to his body and he exploded. There was something like a curse mark on the back of his neck. I think that that's what triggered it. Kakashi brought his hand to his chin, trying to speak, triggering a curse mark. It reminded him of a certain someone. It sounds like Danzo, doesn't it? That whole thing, Kakashi said. Sai nodded. It did actually resemble the method he used to bind us. Shimura Danzo had once ruled the Anbu from behind the scenes. He fought Sarutobi Hiruzen for the seat of the third Hokage and lost. After that, he created an independent organization within the Anbu called Root and schemed to rule the village. Sai had been a member of Root. Danzo embedded curse marks on the tongues of Sai and the others in root. The effect was that the instant they tried to say anything about root or Danzo, they would become paralyzed and unable to speak. So then the men who attacked you were also bound by their boss's will. Although the effects totally different, I mean self-destruction versus paralysis. And there's one more thing, Sai said. In the middle of the fight, my attackers were suddenly cloaked in tailed beast chakra. Tailed? Kakashi's eyes flew open. Really? Yes, the men themselves didn't transform into tailed beasts. 
but their chakra increased explosively to become a robe that covered their bodies. And on that chakra robe was small, but it was a tail. Kakashi groaned. How does someone who's not a Jin Shuriki get the power of a tailed beast? And both of them, if we'd been able to examine the body, we might have learned something. But he self-destructed, which could also mean that someone didn't want us to be able to examine it. So they went and set the curse mark for an explosive death. Kakashi closed his eyes and raked his brain. Danzo's way of doing things, the timing of the attack on Sai, and the meeting earlier, Kakashi's intuition was telling him something. Sai, did you talk to anyone about the fact that you were looking into this matter? He asked, no, no one. Why would you ask? If you didn't talk to anyone, then why were you attacked? What? The enemy found out you were looking into this and attacked you to prevent that. So then, where did they get that information? <laughs>